Metal Monday. Copper is at five dollars. <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> Had to get one out of there. Had to get one in. I will <laughs> say this: like my wife got my kids so good this morning. Mm-hmm. So we went to bed last night, and she goes, "Oh, I saw this thing online." So my kids, like full disclosure, they don't get to eat cereal during the week, right? The only time you get to eat cereal at our house is Saturday and Sunday. It's a treat. Because it's a treat. Because it's mm-hmm. fucking garbage. Like, mm-hmm. it's not real breakfast, right? We grew up eating cereal. It's kind of like people growing up smoking cigarettes. Like, somebody at some point is smart <laughs> enough to realize cereal's not good for you, right? Mm-hmm. Long story short, at our house, you get cereal two days a week. So my wife, this morning, got up, or last night, she froze a, a spoon in milk in, for both boys like full of milk and put it uh, in the freezer. And then this morning, poured a little bit of cereal on top mm-hmm. of it and a little splash of milk. So the boys got up this morning because I usually make their breakfast. They thought they were going to get cereal because <laughs> it was like for breakfast. Yeah. And they went to like grab the spoon. It was just fu- it was just frozen. And my wife's like, hey, Ruffles. <laughs> No cereal for you. And They're I was gonna, like, that's a gangster move. I love it. Good you for probably her. ruined their Monday. <laughs> <laughs> My oldest son is like, do I they? I thought April Fool's was yesterday. <laughs> and my wife's like, no. <laughs> My dad always tries to get me with some April Fool's uh, tricks, so I haven't seen one yet, but I'm waiting for one, you know? Yeah. And uh, I, I actually love April Fool's, and it. I have got some good ones, but that'll take too long. <laughs> so copper not a five. Yeah, four. But More like four. We're still four. We're solid. Yeah. Four oh five this morning. We're pushing. Yeah, we're we're holding the line, man. Mm-hmm. On the copper, everything else is soft. You know, the LME's closed today. You know, but the Comex is obviously open. The PGMs are soft. I mean, it's a typical bloody Monday. I mean, mm-hmm. the you know your everything else is red. Yeah, copper is the only one that's kind of lots of red, on. but copper's green. Yeah, like, why is that? Is that because the LME, uh, partially because the LME is just closed? It's not I accurate. think last night, uh, yesterday, China came out with like kind of their quarterly report or whatever, and kind of their economy actually is improving. Okay. So that being said, I'm curious what's going to happen when the LME does open back up, you know, tomorrow. And I, I am curious to see what that – potential could do potentially could do for your base metals because if when china's blowing and going like when they're when that economy's moving then that's good for base metals right i mean it's good for for a lot of things but if they truly are you know they're projecting they are going to get to their five percent you know growth and you know construction season is, is 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 moving along for them so i think they are somewhat Maybe potentially coming out of the COVID slumber, you know, at least the Which we've been waiting trying. for that long time. So I I think, in my opinion, you know, domestic strength and maybe some potential bullishness from China, who's still the largest consumer, you know, of copper bearing material out there. Even when they are in a slumber, they're still a pretty big consumer. And then if India stays strong, you know, it's it's good for copper. I love it. Good for aluminum. Aluminum's up too. You and you and Chad filmed a bold vs. bear right before this. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to hear that. Yeah. Just give me the quick synopsis on Ferris then. What do you think it's gonna do? I think it's it's gonna be stronger okay. in April. You think, think we it's, get some up numbers? I actually? think so. Okay. I don't think we're gonna light the world on fire, but then again, you know, I mean you know, we'll let kind of the bulls versus bears tell the fair story, mm-hmm. but there, you know, there's good momentum in in like bushling scrap. There's good momentum in, you know, demand, um, like mill utilization. So there's still some. There's good demand out there for our scrap, um, and there's not a plentiful supply of it. So that's usually a good thing. So we'll see how it plays itself out, but you know. We're not looking at down 20, 30, 40 like we did. Maybe we'll get some of that back or a good chunk like of it, it back. I love it. I think that'll be a breath of fresh air for so many people because I anticipated a, like probably another down month maybe this month in the beginning of March. Well, it was, yeah. was looking that good. And then I yeah. think, 
you know, the, you know, turkey scrap, the price went up, which doesn't affect us that much, but in generally sentiment wise, just, you know, it, if turkey price is up, that pulls scrap out of the market. And that's generally good for the, you know, domestic scrap market as a whole. So while it doesn't affect us over here in the Northwest, really all that much, just other on the sentiment side. Mm-hmm. And if the sentiment's strong and the demand's there, then that usually bodes well for a little bit better pricing. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Brett. In a few weeks, we're going to be in uh, Vegas doing one of these. Doing yeah, one man. Live. We, we need a guest, though. So anyone that wants to sit down on Monday and do it with us. We're looking forward to, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. All right, everybody have a great week.